Hello everyone. Let's talk about five books that I want to read that take place in the country of Andorra. Now, <laughs> I have never heard of Andorra until I was planning this video. Now, yes, in junior high I did take a world geography class, but I don't remember Andorra. If that was even covered. And that was in like eighth grade. So I looked up Andorra. Um, let me zoom in. So there's their flag. Okay. So let's, I just thought this was interesting. This is just something that came up on the internet and says, Andorra is a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees mountains. It is known for its ski resorts and tax haven status that encourages duty free shopping. Capital Andorra La Vela has boutiques and jewelers on Meritexel Avenue and several shopping centers. The old quarter Barry Antic houses, Romanesque Santa Coloma Church with a circular bell tower. So they're between uh, France and Spain. Uh, let's see, population. 77,142 on the cont continent of Europe. So the capital is Andorra La Vela. So anyway, just thought that was a little interesting tidbit for those who may not know anything about Andorra. Now you know a little bit about Andorra. Very little, but it's more than I ever knew. Um, okay, so five books that I want to read that take place at least in part in Andorra. So the first one is titled Andorra and this is by Peter Cameron. Um, this is an adult fiction. So this one, a man after per personal tragedy, um, this man decides he's going to leave the U.S. Um, so he leaves and he travels and he ends up moving to Andorra and the only other thing that I know is that he ends up falling in love with two women at the same time. So what's going to evolve from that? I have no idea. Is he going to choose one woman over the other? Is he going to try and date them both? Are they going to find out what's so just his life trying to deal with tragedy and cope and recover. And I don't know what the tragedy is, but there you go. So, or if he's on the run, <laughs> I don't know, but that's what it is. It sounds intriguing enough that I'm definitely want to pick that up. Okay. So this other one sounds pretty much like it is. It's a nonfiction. I'm guessing adult. Maybe it could go between YA to adult. So, and this is by the second book is by Thomas Eckhart. Now I'm just going to say the title of this book because this is pretty much going to tell you what the book is about. So it's secrets of the seven smallest states of Europe. Andorra, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Malta, Monaco, San Marino, and Vatican City. So there you go. So it's a nonfiction. I'll learn about all, you know, these seven cities and Andorra being one of them. So that'll be interesting. Okay. So this is the one I need to pull up because I could not summarize the synopsis. So I just want to read the synopsis to you. Um, let me pull up my Goodreads. Of course, you'd think I'd already have it ready to go, but no. Okay. It is called The Road to Andorra. And this is by Shirley Dean, I'm guessing is how you say it. Okay. So I'm going to read the synopsis because I just can't do this synopsis justice. Okay, so The Road to Andorra by Shirley Dean. That's how I'm going to say it. I might be wrong. I'm more than likely wrong. Okay, there are a few blithe spirits left in this burdened world, but Shirley, Dean, um, but Shirley Dean is one of them. Who else would find herself in Andorra, a small republic high in the Pyrenees, because her son's eye was caught by a minute and was caught by a minute and unlettered spot on a map? And who, at the summons of her artist husband would pick up and head for the sun-drenched Bericles 
Isba, Ibiza to be exact, because of the chance offer to run a pig farm? The answer can be found in this entertaining and prospective book, which is glowing, which is a glowing account of two different ways of life. And Dorian and Ibizakir, Ibiz, Ibizakirn? I don't know. It is in Ibiza that the author learns she and her family have been expelled from Spain because her book, Tomorrow is Mana, has displeased the authorities there. So once again, they are on the road to Andorra with the tact understanding that one in flight becomes one of Andorra's own. See how I couldn't do that? It's, it's a lot. But it'd be interesting. Okay. This other one. <laughs> same thing. I gotta get pulled up. Andorra Revealed. Yep, so it is this one. It only gave me one author. Okay, so Andorra Revealed. There's three authors. Claire Alcard, Judith Wood, and Ian Wool Woolward. Okay, so by various authors, definitely those three. Okay. So it says, Andorra revealed entertaining stories about one of the world's more enigma enigmatic countries. Journey with us through fact and fiction, memoir and imagination, behind the scenes and into the heart of this unique pocket-sized country. Um, this book is crammed with facts, past and present, and interwoven with bedtime stories that reveal even more of this rare co princedom Tales of smugglers and pigs... Murder and even witches on broomsticks. What is it with pigs <laughs> and Endora? Okay, serving as an entertaining companion for would-be visitors and a practical guide for those considering Endora as a place to live. It shares with you the allure that has brought foreigners from all over the world to make this country their home, including the authors themselves. Claire Alcard arrived by sailboat and car from Singapore. Judith Wood, born in Bombay, was drawn from London. Ian Woolward from Silicon Valley. Alexandria, there's more authors, let's see. Alexandria Gremikinova from Russia. Valerie Remenicaro from Spain. While Ursula Simpson Yuri, born in uh, Shanghai, arrived in Andorra by camper van. So. Getting some different experiences. I am very curious about what the deal is with Andorra and pigs. Because that's come up in some of the books. <laughs> so we'll see. And then the third book I thought, I mean, not the third, the fifth book that I thought would be fun is just Andorra Cultures of the World by Byron Augustine. I mean, that that is what it is. I mean, it's, it's also a nonfiction. Uh, I couldn't find a lot of fiction books that take place in Andorra. So most of these are going to be nonfiction. What did I find? Like two? Yeah. So four nonfiction and one fiction. So if you know of any fiction books that take place in, in Andorra that are, um, in English have been translated to English, definitely let me know in the comments below so I can check it out. But those are the five that I found. I'm sure there's more. I'll have to spend a little bit more time digging, but those are the five that I've come up with so far. Um, so Andorra cultures of the world, like I said, with, with that fifth one is just going to be about the culture of Andorra. So I thought that would be interesting. Learn a bit, a little bit more about Andorra's culture. So those are the five books that I would like to read that take place at least in part or cover and where you can learn more about the country of Andorra. Again, I've never heard of Andorra until I was finding books for Andorra. <laughs> so, um, but it'd be interesting to learn. So I find this interesting and I'm finding the more nonfiction I read, the more I like actually like a lot of the nonfiction. It's just finding the types of nonfiction. I can't have it be too broad and I'm a little concerned with some of these, but at the same time, I think it'll be interesting. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm still dipping my toes into nonfiction a little bit here and there, but those are the five books that I want to read that have Endora as the place. So uh, that's it for now. So in the description box, you will find my social media information. Um, if you'd like to be friends on any of those platforms. And until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I'll talk to you later.